New York City Mayor Adams was thrown for a loop when confronted with the actual results of the migrant crisis that the city is taking on right now. Um, Mr. Adams, um, I was in this room in June of 2022 after uh, testifying to you in that public hearing, we had a private conversation in a small conference room nearby. Um, you made a remark to me then that you were going to look into my housing. There was no follow-up about that. Um, 15 days ago, um, I got a punch to my head in a MICA shelter. I don't belong in a shelter. We talked about a housing issue back then. There was no follow-up because of that lack of follow-up. That's how my face looked 15 days ago after getting a punch. So the question is, when people come to your public meetings, you make statements to them, there's no follow-up. There are huge repercussions. Um, I currently have a lawsuit against your administration, one being assigned to the uh, New York State Supreme Court in Manhattan, assigned to New York State Supreme Court Judge Lyle Frank. I also have a pending petition for a writ of certiorari to submit to the US Supreme Court by the end of next month. And so guess what I'm gonna tell them? I'm going to tell them that while I have pending litigation against your administration, I'm being punched in the head, having to go to an emergency room. So basically, my point is First Amendment retaliation in response to protected First Amendment activity after having a conversation with you in which essentially you lie straight to my face. Have a nice day. Yeah, thank you. And uh, first, no one should be assaulted. I'm really sorry to hear uh, what happened to you. And as you indicated, you don't belong in a homeless shelter. Uh, no one belongs in a homeless shelter. Every New York should have the right to housing. And the, and the reason we could not continue with our conversation is because you had ongoing litigation. And our counsel stated that when someone has ongoing litigation, we should not interfere with that litigation at, 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 at all. And so I'm gonna repeat that since you didn't get it when you were recording the first time, I'm gonna say it again. The reason we did not um, continue to communicate with you is because you had ongoing litigation. And the corp council that represent the city advised us that we should not have continuous conversation with someone that has ongoing uh, litigation. But if you have lit lit litigation or not, uh, no one should be assaulted in this city. That's something that I stand for. That's something that I believe. And I'm hoping that you reported it uh, to the police department so they could have taken appropriate action because the person who's responsible for that should be held accountable. That goes for you. And that goes for the 64,000 other migrants, uh, uh, 64,000 other uh, housing, and the over 180,000 migrant and asylum seekers that have come through our, our city. You spoke already. Let me finish. Uh, that goes for um, those who are already in our si system and those who are still coming in our system. Our obligation is to make sure they're safe and they're treated in a humane manner. And that's what we're proud that we're doing. Okay, so for a little context here, let's just, obviously you saw what happened in the clip. Obviously this person is saying that I have litigation going on against the city because I've been trying to get out of public housing, which has been, not public housing, homeless shelters, by the way, which have been overtaken uh, by the illegal immigrants that have been flowing into the country and being shuffled up to New York. And basically this is what he's saying. But let's talk a little bit about the fact that the illegal immigrant situation that's going on in this country has now become a problem problem to the quote unquote sanctuary city um, of New York that was so happy to sort of like try to put this great public face on is so happy to be moral and just and take the high ground and saying, well, we're going to be a sanctuary city now and all this other stuff. But when they get hit with the actual um, illegal immigrant crisis that a lot of these border cities and border states have to take on, obviously they don't know what to do. Now, I don't know what the situation is going to happen. Um, I don't know what is going to happen in New York City. I know that when I come to New York City these days, it is uh, more disgusting and more third world than usual. There are neighborhoods that are actually completely overrun uh, with these migrants that nobody wants to go to. It is a very real issue, and it doesn't seem as if either the Biden administration or the Eric Adams administration is doing anything about it.